um... Hey, ladies. Oh, Lydia, I beg you would stop! For we are never to know Mr Bingley and it pains me to hear of him. But, Mama... I am sick of Mr Bingley! Oh, my dear Mr Penny! How good you are to us! Yeah, well, well. <laughs> oh, girls, girls, is he not a good father? Yeah. And never to tell us what a good joke! <laughs> <laughs> well, did you ever meet such a proud, disagreeable man? Ma, he will leave you. I don't care if he does. And his friend disposed to be so agreeable and everything charming. Who is he to think himself so far above his company? Well, the very rich can afford to give offence wherever they go. We need not care for his good opinion. No, indeed. Ma, tell them it isn't fair. Oh, play a jig, Mary. No one wants your concertos here. I believe I should be happy to live in the country forever. Wouldn't you, Darcy? You would? You don't find the society somewhat confined and unvarying for your taste? Confined and unvarying indeed it is not, sir. The country is a vast deal pleasanter than town, whatever you may say about it. Mama, you mistake Mr Darcy's meaning. Do I? Do I? He seems to think the country nothing at all. Mama. Confined, unvarying. I would have him know we dine with four and twenty families. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you look very well, Lizzie. You'll never be as pretty as your sister Jane, but I will say you look very well indeed. <laughs> Mr. Collins is such a sensible, respectable young man, and he's taken quite a fancy to Lizzie. And I don't think he could find a better wife. He favoured Jane at first, but Bingley was there before him. Now there will be a great marriage. And of course, that will throw the girls into the path of other rich men. Lizzie! Lizzie! The father wishes to speak to you. Come here, my child. I, um... I understand Mr. Collins has made you an offer of marriage. It is true? Yes, sir. Right, very well. And uh, this, uh, this offer of marriage you have refused? I have. I see. <laughs> right, well, we now come to the point. Uh, your mother insists on your accepting it. Is it not so, Mrs. Bennet? Yes, or I will never see her again. An unhappy alternative is before you, Elizabeth. From this day, you must be a stranger to one of your parents. Your mother will never see you again if you do not marry Mr. Collins. And uh, I will never see you again if you do. of us all, indeed, I do not. And I cannot bear to think of Charlotte Lucas being mistress of this house, that I should be forced to make way for her and live to see her take my place in it. My dear, do not give way to such gloomy thoughts. Let us hope for better things. Let us flatter ourselves that I might outlive you. I don't see why he should take so much upon him. Mama, we are greatly indebted to Mr. Gardner. He must have laid out a great deal of money to pay off Mr. Wickham's debts. More than we can ever repay. And why should he not? Who else should lay out money but our own uncle? Mother. Oh, well, I am so happy. A daughter married and only just 16. <laughs> Mrs. Wickham. Ooh, how well that sounds. Oh, but the, the wedding clothes. Lizzie, my dear, go down to your father and ask how much he will give her. <laughs> oh, never mind, Sarah. You must come to Miss Bennet this moment. Come along, girl, and 
help her on with her gun. Never mind, Mr. Dismar. Mama, uh, Mama, where is my new locket that Lydia brought me from London? Mary, have you seen my new locket? I shouldn't know it if I did see it. I care nothing for such balls. Oh, never mind your locket, girl. Jane, stare at yourself. He is here. He is here. Mama, Lizzie and I will be down as soon as we can. Let Kitty go down. She's foreigner than any of us. Oh, hang Kitty. What is she to do with it? Jane, be quick. Oh, where is your muslin dress, dear? Oh, Elle! Elle! Where is Elle? What's the matter, Mama? Why do you keep winking at me? What am I to do? Wink at you? Why should I wink at you, child? What a notion. Why should I be winking at my own daughter, pray? It's so generous that you will always exceed your income. Exceed their income? What are you talking about? Don't you know he has 5,000 a year? <laughs> oh, my dear, dear Jane. I am so happy. Oh, I knew how it would be. I was sure you could not be so beautiful for nothing. He is the handsomest man that was ever seen. Three daughters married. Oh, Mr. Bennett, God has been very good to us. Yes, so it would seem.